Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to start taking individual bits of this melody that we've made. And we're gonna start sort of uh, swapping out this with some of uh, our other sort of custom bass chops and all that sort of stuff to make that crazy twisty bass line. So first thing I want to do is load Halion as an instrument. So Halion is available in all the paid for versions of Cubase, although the particular instrument within Halion called Flux is only available in Artist and above. So if you are following this in Artist, then don't worry, we will include the audio for all of these parts in the work files, so you can at least still follow along with the rest of the tutorial. So there are a few different ways of loading an instrument in Cubase. Of course, you can come to the Media tab, you can go to VST Instruments, if you go to Synth, and you'll see Halion Sonic there, so you can literally just drag that into the project and drop it somewhere, and it will load up. Or you can go to the VSTi tab, where you'll see Halion that I've just loaded, so you can see all of your loaded instruments in the VSTi tab, and you can also so click here add track instrument just so you're aware rack instrument is also a possibility but generally speaking we did don't use these anymore. Track instruments are definitely the way forward. They're just much easier to use. So we can load a track instrument from there and just pick the instrument that you want. Or you can load it here, of course, with the plus button, add track, where you can load any type of track that you like. You can add audio instrument track, in this case, Halley and Sonic SE, and just click add track. Or you can right click anywhere here, it doesn't matter where, and just go add track instrument and again you can select your instrument that way as well so now we have halion loaded we need to start sort of chopping up this baseline sorry not chopping it up but sort of segmenting it and using different instruments to trigger different notes in here so there's no real scientific method to how this should work all i know is at this time i want this first sound the first hit to be uh really sort of impactful and for that we're gonna make or at least tweak a halion preset to get a sort of skrillexy type sound so basically what i need to know right now is that i need this note and the rest of these notes i'm going to actually just mute and I also want these two notes to be triggered by the sort of skrillex type sound from halion and the rest of the notes can all be muted so if you didn't see that to get the mute tool just right click hold that down and then you can select your mute tool and you can just go select, uh, mute or unmute anything you like. So at the moment we just got these three notes. And that's all that's gonna be playing with this one bass sound that we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna come out of there and just copy that down onto our Halion instrument. And just for the meantime, we're gonna mute the lead high, okay? So we've only got Halion. Now it won't play anything at the moment because we need to load a preset into Halion. So we're just gonna click on edit instrument. So when you first load Halion, you will see this screen, which is obviously where you can select all of the different patches, which are all down here. And then you've got your sort of category selections up here. So you can click on base or whatever it is that you want. Now, just to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna click on where it says all instrument sets. And these are basically the different instruments that you've got within Halion. And we want to see only the presets associated with the Flux instrument, which is a wavetable synthesizer, albeit in this, in the Halion Sonic SE3, this is a sort of light version of the Flux instrument. You actually get the full Flux instrument in the full version of Halion Sonic uh, sorry, Halion 3, but that's neither here nor there. We're only going to be using the SE version in this. It's absolutely fine and perfectly serviceable as a wavetable synthesizer, although you can't load your own um, sort of sounds into it. So we've already clicked bass, so that's fine. Let's just see the bass presets for the Flux instrument. And right away, I want Active Jiggler. I know this. And if I just play it, let's just turn Halion down a bit as well. So you can already hear it's a very sort of Skrillexy type sound already without any messing around. Now, just a couple of things that we're going to do to this sound, uh, but I will take this opportunity to just show you around the Flux instrument just so you get a basic idea. Uh, and so you're able to then go and tweak any presets that you might want to load. So at least you'll be able to come up with some sort of custom and unique sound. So first of all, just want to turn that delay down because it's a bit nasty. And we're going to go to Edit. And of course, this is the Flux instrument. So in the Flux instrument, you've got these different pages up here. You've got the oscillator page, the sub page, the mod page, the voice page, and the ARP page. 
So the oscillator page, uh, and of course note that when I change pages, it doesn't change this. This is just the standard section. So we're only changing this. This is what refers to as the different pages. And the oscillator section, we've got two main oscillators, which you can turn on or off there. And we'll go back to this in just a second. And then we've got our sub page, which is the other two sort of oscillators. And again, you can turn them off or on there. So we've got one sub oscillator and one noise oscillator. When I say oscillator, I believe this is actually a sample based, but I wouldn't want to swear to that right now. So let's just concentrate on these two to start off with. And first of all, I'm just going to turn off the sub and noise oscillators so we can just look at what the normal oscillators are doing, the wavetable oscillators. And let's just solo Halion as well. So on their own, that's all they're doing with the sub and the noise. This is what they're doing. So it's quite noticeably different, of course, but these are sort of providing the high end sort of screechiness or the scream of this particular sound. Now, if you don't know what a wave table synthesizer is, well, it's kind of like a subtractive synthesizer. <laughs> Whereas Retrolog is a subtractive synthesizer, it will only play sort of one waveform. So it will play like a sine wave, a triangle wave, a square wave. And you can mess a little bit with the shape of that, but you don't really get that much control. Now, in a wave table synthesizer, you've got obviously you can see this waveform here. So this would be akin to sort of seeing whatever, like a square wave in Retrolog. But the table bit of wavetable means that we haven't just got this one waveform. We've got many, many, many others, all these different sort of wave shapes that we can cycle through basically at will. So we can use this to make some really interesting sounds. And this is kind of responsible for a lot of the sort of dubstep um, or Skrillex type sounds that you hear out there. So one way to change the texture of the sound is just to mess with the position. We'll leave ours on 32.5 for now, but one of the main ways, of course, that you can change also from the standard stock preset sounds is just to click on where it says comb saw one, and then we can choose from any different wave sample that we want. So we can change this completely. <laughs> and just change the sort of texture of that particular sound. So that's one way of manipulating the sound. I'm just going to activate the other oscillator again. Now go to the subsection and I'm going to mute the first two oscillators just so we can hear what this is doing. In fact, let's just hear the sub on its own first. So obviously that's providing quite a big chunk of the actual sound itself. And we can change that to something more like a triangle or a saw or whatever you want. See a triangle's quite nice and subby and we had it originally on pulse narrow which is also quite nice and then we can activate the noise oscillator and i'll just have that playing on its own as well so see that's making quite a big impact and then all together so you can hear there's really four layers there which are all making up this particular sort of sound the oscillators the wavetable oscillators are providing a sort of screech or the scream to the sound and then the sub and noise oscillators are providing the sort of low end and all the grit to that sound now the mod page like i've mentioned we're not going to get too into this but you can obviously use lfos and all sorts to affect the shape or the sound of the waveform and of course modulation is a very important part of these sort of screeching sounds as you can hear it's just got an attack on the filter so i can turn that right down it becomes a very sort of normal sound and now with the attack up you get that more traditional sort of skrillex -y type sound and that is the main sort of driver for that particular sound is just having the attack on the filter or a slow attack on the filter then we've got the voice page so here it's very simple you can either have it in monophonic mode or polyphonic so you can play many notes at any time obviously this is a, a bass sound a very complex sort of bass sound so playing two notes at the same time is just going to sound terrible so you can just keep it in monophonic mode we can if we want to turn on glide so it'll glide smoothly from one note to the next uh, when we have an overlapped note in the midi editor and then of course pitch controls so i'm not going to get into them it's pretty self-explanatory uh, and then of course we've got the art page which we're not uh, going to be touching on in this tutorial we're not going to actually use it but obviously we could use it to play some sort of rhythmic melody if we so wanted but again with this bass sound that is not going to work so the only thing we're changing here i've just changed the delay mix down the position i've just changed very slightly so it's now on 32.5 for each of the wave table oscillators and the attack i believe originates somewhere down here we're just making it very very slightly slower attack I'll just play what this was like before with the track. Mm -hmm. 
and then with the slightly slower attack and that's what we want that sound right there okay so just wanted to show you how you can come in and change any of the presets just by messing with the oscillator and sub tabs and now we've got our first bass sound in there obviously it doesn't sound like much at the moment without anything else going on uh, so let's just actually unmute our lead and go into that obviously we want to mute these notes we don't want them being played by uh, the lead as well as the bass sound but there are a couple of sounds that i'm going to use from the lead so i'm just going to unmute these notes And as you can hear, we're just very slowly going to be going through and picking all of these different sounds. And very quickly, especially after the next lesson when we're adding the next bass sound, which is one of the main sounds, which is going to be playing all of these notes, all of these notes, uh, and those notes as well, I believe. This will really start to come together very quickly. And then once we got the main sort of foundation of our chopped up bass line, obviously we can then start sort of really tweaking it, layering up some of the sounds and making it sound really fat. So that's it for this lesson. So if you are watching this on YouTube, then this is the end of all of the free lessons for this course. If you do want to get the rest of the course and follow along and learn how to make one of these crazy electro tracks, then definitely follow the link in the description. Of course, if you don't know hard feelings, but please do give us a thumbs up if you like the videos and subscribe if you loved it. We're always coming back with more videos, which have loads of helpful tips and tricks in Cubase and just music production in general. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one.